Greg here with Rhinotech, up in Minnesota where we do all of our manufacturing and distribution. Uh, I wanted to talk about a brand new product that we're introducing that we think is extremely important for everyone in the screen printing business to look at because what it's going to do is help control what's going down the drain. It's a filtration system. It's called the M10F. That's the unit right there. What it does is it sits right underneath your existing washout booth um, so that when you're washing the emulsion out of your screen, as an example, all the emulsion is going down through the drain. The booth is not connected to the drain. It actually then drains into the filtration system. That is a multi-chamber system, and it has actually three filtering elements in it. So when it goes through and then it goes out, we're looking to be compliant in your township, your city, your state, and the federal government's eyes. So let's take a closer look at what the actual system is, an M10F. So what we're going to do, we'll pull it out here so we can get a much closer look at it. Okay, what we have is a polypropylene structure that has a filter basket um, this filter basket is designed to have a filter media running through it, mounts underneath, comes up through this slot, we drop it down into the tray, and that's where the solution first settles. When you buy this unit, you actually get a roll such as this of 10 micron filter media. There's actually available a 5 and also a 20, so you can make that adjustment as time goes on. The fluids come through, they collect in the filter media, and at that point, the liquids are going through the surface. Now remember, if this is a 10 micron, it's supposed to be collecting everything that's 10 microns and larger. So inside the basket, you'll see that we have two chambers. Now the basket is designed so that when the water goes through, it's directing it with this little uh, wing dam, we'll call it, into the first chamber. The water fills into the first chamber, and at that point, it flows over this wall and drops into number two chamber. And there we have a discharge pump. The discharge pump actually has a float on it, so that as the liquid starts to fill, it will automatically start pumping. And what that's going to do is collect it, run it through this hose, back out of the unit, right here and through two canister filters. Each one of those has a 50 micron filter in it. So by that time, we have had triple filtration. Our filter media, two canister filters, and at that point, the fluid goes down your drain. The important issue here is to make sure that, number one, we're not ruining your, pl your plumbing with uh, emulsion jamming up. Um, if you have a septic field, you don't want to be putting these kinds of things into your septic field as well because you'll kill it and it's extremely expensive to put it back. And believe me, when you put it down the sewer system with the city, they want to know that you're being compliant. So, if you have one of these in your shop, what it does when somebody walks through that door looking for the city is that they're going to look and see that you're trying to do whatever it takes to comply to the regulations that they have. The key here is also to remember that every city and state have varying regulations. So we highly recommend that you look at a system like this or another system, but you want to try to be compliant. Get the rules and regulations. Find out what you need to do. In the long run, it's going to save you a lot of money. Thanks for watching. You know where to find us, and until then.